All right, ladies and gentlemen, this next fight is brought to you by Debo Properties and is a 265 pound title fight scheduled for five rounds. And introducing first, the challenger out of the blue corner, a freestyle fighter with a record of three wins and no defeats. Stepping in at six feet, four inches tall, Wayne at 251.4 pounds, representing Marty's Martial Arts from Davenport, Iowa, Adam Mountain Man Pooley. And fighting out of the red corner, a kickboxer with a record of five wins and no defeats. Stepping in at six feet, five inches tall. Hitting the scales at 165 pounds. Representing McCune's MMA. Fighting out of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Making a defense of his title, Steven Concrete. Blade. There's some going on with Stephen Asplund's chest. I don't know. I don't. They're, they're looking at like a. Uh, I think they're seeing a. It's like a cyst or something on the chest of Stephen Asplund. I don't know. I think the doctor on a pre-fight check, Jeremy, saw something. They're concerned. There's some concern there in regards to it. You know, if it's staff or something like that. I don't know. This is a... Uh, they should have saw this yesterday. I, I don't know why... I guess, you know, I guess they wouldn't have seen it yesterday. There's no full physical check. It's just, yeah, they're good. They're good. Making sure it wasn't staff, all precautions met. Let me tell you, Jeremy, the doctors here in Minnesota, fight fans. Adam Poulin in the blue corner. He is in the brown, yellow, and white board shorts. Steven Asplund, red corner, blue and black trunks. Exchange of body kicks. Asplin, heavy punch and kicks into the clinch right now. Yeah, and he uh, he's going for a takedown, which I said wouldn't happen, Mike. And ten seconds in, is going for takedowns. I thought they'd bang this out. I'm curious to see where this ends up. Adam Poulin back against the cage. Stephen Asplin, heavy knee. I mean, I guess anything these guys throw is going to be heavy. Two heavyweights. And there was a certain amount of heat build up between them, it looked like, so. I, I think they were gentlemen, but it was just kind of more of a, uh, you know, who, who's leading the pack? Who's, who's, the, who's the big lion? Aspen looking for a leg trip, takedown. In his own corner within earshot. Oh, my God, low blow. <laughs> Pull it. Telling the crowd sorry. <laughs> See how Asplund handles this, though. Yeah, hard warning from the referee, Chris Claviter. Asplund doesn't want to take any more time. He wants to get to it. Yeah, touch the gloves by both fighters. Ooh, heavy kick by Asplund. Going for the head again is Steven Asplund. Poulin with a teep of his own. Oh, oh, head, head kick, kick by Poulin. Met with a jack right hook of Asplund. These kicks, these heavyweights throwing big <laughs> kicks. Asplund sitting back waiting for an entry. Very aggressive to Steven Asplund. Stephen Asplund, when, when he misses it, when he misses a kick like that, Asplund's got to make Poulin pay. Ah, uh, yeah, for sure. 
Especially when he's seeing it all, you know? Like, yeah. he's not really moving out of the way, he's just missing it. Yeah, there's an open window right there. You gotta walk through it. Oh, it more like with these two, cave door. There's a giant cave door. <laughs> Use that jab as a torch then. <laughs> a little bit of light in that cave. Steven Asplund. With oh, a huge big. takedown, oh. Adam Poulin. Oh my God, Steven Asplund has came to fight. Huge takedown, trap of the leg. Asplund now mounting a big offense from the top. Left, right punch, Poulin creating distance and, and and Asplund is, uh, he's going in a mount. Asplund's in a mount going for an arm triangle. He's got to be very careful not to burn himself out on this. That is a huge human being. Pulling the arm apart is Stephen Poulin, or is Adam Poulin. Poulin's going to survive this. Asplund could have switched his grips, but he has found himself in mount. Creating difference, heavy punches. Steven Asplund is a man possessed. Heavy punches by Asplund. Left, right, hammer fist. And relaxing on top is Steven Asplund. Wow. Relaxing, waiting. He was in full mount. Gable that Stevenson and Thomas Peterson would love that takedown. That was that was explosive. I didn't see. I didn't know that he had that level of wrestling strength in him. That was incredible. Dude, wait, 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 wait a minute. Watch this, dump. gentlemen. Adam Poulin has refused the stool. <laughs> it's one of two things. Guys, don't we? Well, it's one of two things. Either he's very tall and it hurts his cardio, or he's in such good shape he wants to push through. Aspen staring across the ring at his opponent. It seems like it's become more popular. I remember when Foreman did it. I was stunned. You know, Jeremy, I'm going to tell you something. Heavyweights do not move like this. They do not have this much action. There's lots of clinching, lots of pushing, gamesmanship. These two have went at it. How Poulin kept his consciousness after that is unbelievable. I that mean, slam he, was he huge. He was completely upside down on that slam. Aspen not breaking contact at all. Yeah. Touch your gloves by both fighters. Poulin circling. Leg kick by Poulin, another leg kick. Poulin looks tired, but he's not fighting like it. He's throwing sneaky kicks, those up kicks. Poulin. To conversation between touch gloves, Asplund. Asplund extending a lot of energy in that first round, looking for a finish. He might be pacing himself right now. Oh Ooh. my God, heavy right hand. Left, right hand connects to the jaw of Adam Poulin. It looked like it was almost like a slap by the way it connected. Head kick by Asplund, Big back to the shot. body. Asplund back to the body again. Poulin circling. Look at the nose of Adam Poulin. It might be broken. Heavy right hand punch again. Poulin is in defensive mode while Asplund is continuing to apply the pressure. Inside leg kick, Poulin with a heavy punch. Poulin is a tough SOB. Deep to the body. The uh, left eye of Poulin is starting to close. Ooh, nice inside, inside leg, leg kick. kick, that was dangerously close to being a low blow. Right now Asplund, I don't think he wants to risk that punch. Back to uh, a clinch. Poulin looking for a guillotine, a standing guillotine. That's gonna be hard to get. But then that what? Asplund back to the side. Adam Poulin's a tough guy, man. For sure. And, and he didn't get phased. Didn't take the stool in between rounds. Just relaxed, calmed down. If you don't finish Poulin and he's here in those championship rounds, you're going to be in a lot of trouble. With those types of kicks and the output by Adam Poulin. Yeah, but can he keep it up himself? I don't know. There's a lot of meat in that cage right There's now. There's a lot of gentlemen. meat in that cage. <laughs> <laughs> Some slabs. USDA grade A meat. Poulin are Poulin in deep trouble right now with Aspen going to the mount. Full mount there. 280 pounds on you. Wall climbing is Adam Poulin. Go 
Adam Poulin spinning oh. out. I don't know what he was looking at. He, 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 I think his knee was in a bad position, and Poulin is not taking it back of Stephen Asplund. Well, Asplund's now in trouble. I don't know how much time is left, but Stephen Asplund's in a world of trouble right Asplund's now. Asplund's in a tough spot. He's breaking up the hands. Oh, I don't think it's... It's tough to see from here. Yeah, no, he's doing a good job. Asplund's doing a real good job defending. Poulin squeezing on something that's just not in the, oh, that's under. Is that in it? Is Ten that seconds. under the? Ten seconds left in the round. Ten seconds left in the round. I don't think he's got it. For the meter, there it is. This is good. Look how quick Asplund is up to his feet. I don't know what kind of technical error was made by Steven Asplund getting out of the mount position. I don't know if his knee was pinched in a bad direction. I, I don't know what happened there. I still don't think he lost the round. Jeremy, your opinion. It's a heavyweight fight. I don't think we're going off. I don't think round scores are going to matter yeah. much. These guys go five rounds. I'll be surprised. Trev, your opinion on that last round and how it's like going? Well, I'm curious to see on uh, how much how much juice that uh, Poulin used at the end of that round with those squeeze, trying to get those chokes in, trying to get that choke in over there. It, that, that was a lot of work on those arms. Asplund, Asplund a little slow to get off his chair. A little slow, getting that oxygen in his body. Surprised he's, he's keeping the mouthpiece in. You know, he's going to clear the airway, get all that oxygen in. Generally speaking, you take the mouthpiece out when you do that. Not Steven Asplund. In the output of these two heavyweights, I've never seen anything like this on any level. Round three, baby. Back to three. It's scary Ooh. when you saw that come in like that. Oh, yeah. Chris <laughs> <laughs> Kavitter. We're in our third round of this five round fight. Little bit of blood on the eye of Poulin. Poulin is always starting the rounds out with leg kicks. Ooh, big right Heavy hand. right hand. Big right hand. Poulin Got him in the eye. Retreating and then a guillotine by Steven Asplund. This is what he won against the Riddler. Same move, same standing guillotine. Upper body lock. Around the waist, blood squirting out of the Stamping. nose and a tap Stamping. by Adam Poulin. That nose is broken. Jeremy, the nose of Adam Poulin is broken. What a performance. Wow, wow, wow. Steven Asplund's the real deal. Yeah. Steven Asplund's the real deal. What a performance by a guy that lost 280 pounds to be here tonight to make this happen. A guy, I mean, when you, a, a guy that just refused to quit, continued to put the pressure on. Man, Steven Asplund, I'm a fan. Adam Poulin, the heart of a lion. All right, ladies and gentlemen. The action was halted at 23 seconds into the third round. Your winner by standing guillotine and still champion, Steven Concrete Asplund. Ladies and gentlemen, our heavyweight champion, Stephen Asplund, defended his belt. Stephen, the output and cardio that you showed in that, it seemed like you came in here with a chip on your shoulder. Where did that come from? Hey, man, we're in my home city. I ain't fought here in a fucking year. 
I missed y'all. And I got the opportunity to show out in front of my fucking people. Man, I'm a fat kid from Southside that just wants to be somebody. And not just somebody, somebody my fucking family can look up to. And somebody I'm making them proud for, you know? Uh, I was a fat boy my whole life. So coming into this game, I got a fucking chip on my shoulder. You know what I'm saying? And I like my chips with dip. So we're going to keep this motherfucker rolling. Steven, I have never seen at any level a performance and level of aggression and output from a heavyweight as I did you tonight. Was that the game plan going into this? I'm not going to lie. Fuck no. I, I was hoping to get that big boy out of here quick. And it didn't work. But uh, like I said, I was a fat fuck my whole life, man. I'm down to 250, that's 300 pounds down by my fucking self. So don't let nobody tell you you can't achieve something, man. Um, but yeah, no, I, I came in here hoping to beat him in a long game. That motherfucker came out here with some pressure. And uh, I hit just as hard as these big guys. And I'm a little bit faster than these big guys. Ladies and gentlemen, your champion, Steven Asplund. I'm so sorry. I just want to shout out my wonderful team at McCoon's Martial Arts for turning me into a motherfucking killer. Thank you. And thank you to my sponsors, McKinley Restoration, Patrick Bastards, Masonry and Concrete, Asplin and Sons, construction and my beautiful mother for helping me not be such a bitch thank you <laughs> ladies and gentlemen your champion we've got one more fight tonight